Um, so you performed very nicely today. Um, and and uh, I really liked it. It's a nice warm quality. Um, and and you, had, you, you were very clear with your musical ideas. I, I felt like you projected them very well. I could understand what you were feeling and thinking about the piece, um, which is great. Um, so, let's see. I think um, with classical repertoire, actually any, any repertoire, of course, um, one of the, the sort of the fundamental elements underlying a piece of music is is uh, the pulse, you know, the feeling of the pulse. And you were quite, quite steady about that and quite consistent in that way. Um, I, and, and in particular in classical repertoire, um, it's generally pretty straightforward that way. You know, it, it tends to be quite, <laughs> Um, uh, very structured, both you know in terms of rhythm and 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 the emphasis on certain beats. So it, you, know, you kind of can almost follow that pretty easily in, in, in classical repertoire. The question is, what you know, what is what is the pulse? What how do you feel it? Um, and the thing with this movement, I think it can be um, sometimes um, a little bit tricky, or sometimes can be a little confusing, is that it's actually written in four, but it's it's also written in moderato. So it's it's and moderato is kind of you know it's it's. it's it doesn't give you a whole lot to go on, actually, in a way, because you know, labor sort of implies having a sort of kind of energetic feeling to the pulse. Um, Andante has a certain kind of flow to it. Colorado is just kind of somewhere in the middle there, and you know, there isn't a lot of the. Uh, um, it's not particularly descriptive. So, but he does say um, it's in, it is in four. And there is sometimes with this movement a tendency to feel it almost in eight. So you feel the bait kind of like this. You feel that that eighth note falls a little bit. And I did feel that a little bit at times when we were playing. And I wonder about um, what it would be like if you kind of consciously think about the corner note. So that'd be like, like this. So that you kind of really feel you feel kind of in a four. Uh, which means that um, and in classical repertoire, it's usually organized that the first beat is a strong beat, and the third beat is also a fairly strong beat, and the second and fourth beats are weaker. Um, so that's a certain way that you can kind of organize it. And if it's in four, then you know you can sort of phrase using that idea. Um, so I'm just curious what that would be like if you played it feeling the corner notes, having a, having a real sense of the corner notes. Um, so maybe you could you know, try this in some of it again at the beginning and <coughs> just see what happens when you do that. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Um, now, to get a, a little bit more detail about it, um, let's take where you just stop, where you start this 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 new uh, element that comes in. You know. So here, um, for example, when you have when you have the thirty second notes. Um, th this last time that you played it, you kind of gave emphasis on both of those, like like this. I'm wondering in this, with this, if you take this idea you know, a little further in a in a passage like that, um, so the second group wouldn't have as much, wouldn't be as strong, um, and. So it, you know, see how that feels and what that sounds like. Can you start um, maybe from where it, where you play it and uh, where the E is? So Uh, 
Thus, I feel it is okay. You want to go a little faster? You try it almost in time. Now, let's add what happens right before. Just double. Just let's try that once and see how it feels. Um, and, and 
just give it a try and whatever happens is okay, just one shot. Thank you. 